Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to this war of mine. Last time we left off on day nine. How is the hunger situation? I know we need food guys, I know. At least I didn't kill anybody this run. <laughs> okay, and I got a lot of components. Okay, you need to go eat right away. He's hungry, sad, and tired. He's got everything that you can possibly not want. Okay, glad I have this book. You're hungry and tired. We're going to wait until the very hungry status sits with you, buddy. Okay. Um, you are only sad and tired. You're going to go back to sleep. You're still going to be our scavenger, buddy. We're going to try to get you some moonshine on one of these runs to forget about your troubles. I know you're having issues. Okay, you are only hungry. That's good. That means you can do some work. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I'm a slave driver, you guys. But, I mean, it's rationing, you know. It's rationing emotions here. It's a very, very hard deal to swallow. Okay, so... I don't need to do any of that. I need to try to upgrade this. Is that what we decided to do? Yes, that's what we decided to do. Probably a poor choice because I could have made like a, an herb garden or a, an animal trap, but I think in the long run, this will be better. If I can conserve the total amount of resources in order to build better resources, unless there's a prerequisite of some sort that I'm not noticing, uh, I think that's a better choice. It's a more conservative plan of action. Let's check out our recipe. So we can definitely make guns now, um, which is important. Uh, we can also make a rifle, but we'd need like a broken rifle port. So I did make knives last time. I wish we can salvage knives. What is that? A saw blade? Oh, do I need one of those or what? Um, so we definitely need to get one of these weapon ports. Uh, we don't have enough right now. This we can do. You can use it to chop furniture or people. That's disturbing. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's definitely, we definitely, definitely need this saw blade. I think that would be the best place. We can use it to cut through metal bars and chains to get otherwise inaccessible places. We can probably get a lot of food with that. Okay. Um, now that we have that made, let's look at our things. Uh, overall, we can trade, we'll be able to trade one of these crowbars very, very soon, as soon as we get another opportunity to do so. Uh, I don't, I don't, it doesn't look like we can make cigarettes without one of those tables. So let's check out this workbench again and see if we can make that thing that we can do tables with. So this is a table with some equipment where we can prepare herbal meds, bandages, and low quality roll up cigarettes. We can upgrade it to make real meds and good quality cigarettes. Okay, so we can make one of these. Let's do that. We'll place that with the rest of the kind of like the work area right here. So we'll go ahead and place that. That'll give you something to do. How are you doing, dear? You tired? How about come to sleep? And and our buddy the cook, he is currently working and you are doing nothing. Come on to the door, buddy. Come on to the door. Or do you want to trade? You don't look like our normal guy that comes to trade. And we just traded anyway. Hello again. Okay, please, I need your help. Man, what do you need? Hello again, how are you doing? Thanks for the help. Okay, thanks to your help, all the wounded recovered and went back to their homes. One of them still needs bandages, though. I run out. Um, do I have any? We need... Thank you so much. You're saving a man's life. Okay. So I gave away my bandages. I have a feeling that this is an investment. This kindness will pay off back to us. Maybe they'll come back with some food. I'm not really sure exactly what to expect. Um, let's go ahead and you are tired. So you probably need to, uh, well, you're hungry too. Okay, one status ailment at a time, shall we? Let's go ahead and eat some food. And you are only hungry, so you should be okay. You retreat into that chair like a madman, huh? Hold up. We actually, I know I know you want to go relax in your chair, buddy. But let's see if we can make some cigarettes. You're a smoker, right? Yeah, you do smoke. 
Let's go make us some cigarettes, buddy. We'll have a smoke. It's not real good for you, but man, these are hard times. So I feel you. Okay, so we can make we can make cigarettes. That's good. We have enough stuff to make four. So let's go ahead and make that. And then you'll be able to go in your chair. Yes, yes, Marlboro, Camel, <laughs> Virginia Slims, all <laughs> product. <laughs> no, I'm not working for any tobacco companies. I know it's not a good day, but I know you're still sad. Let's not lose hope. You, you're right. You're right. That's a good attitude to have, mate. It's 3:30 p.m. right now. Can we do anything? I hate to miss an opportunity to do anything. Let's take, how about let's make one more trip. How are we on water? Let's look at water again. We're good. We actually need some meat to cook, I believe. Do we have some meat? We do have some meat. Let's make a couple of meals. That I think that'll be the best deal. Um, those are to burn timber. These are to burn books. We really need to keep our books. Let's go ahead and make components I'll make two I hate to burn that timber but that's only one stack at least we got some cigarettes yes ma'am yeah you are right okay so we'll make some timber up and now we can actually make a couple of meals uh, oh that's good we can make three meals uh, let's make them up that'll that'll exhaust our raw food supply but if we get any very hungries, we only have two hungries. We can probably eat. Well, you just made all that food. You've been holding up pretty well, Bruno. I'm, you know what? I'm really proud of you, dude. Have a bite to eat. Arika, I know you're hungry. Can you wait a little while longer, Arika? I'm, I'm just... I don't think it'll be a deal. I wish I had left the city. You still sad, huh, Marco? I know, buddy. We're going to get you some moonshine tonight. At the very least, we'll find some moonshine. We're not going to go to the same location that we were last time. In fact, I, th I think we'll be fine, buddy. Let's go ahead and end the day. Okay, so... Arika, you're going to... You're only hungry, so you're going to guard. Marco, you're sad. You're the skilled scavenger, though, buddy. You are coming with us. You're you're getting out of the house. You need to stay. You need to stay focused. Stay focused on survival. You'll be okay, Bruno. You should probably. You don't have any status ailments, so you're gonna guard too, okay, bud? And Pavel, you're going to sleep in the bed, and I think we should be fine. Let's go. Let's see. We have the abandoned cottage that we've already went to. The supermarket we already went to. Uh, the shell school is where we've been. They don't have much food there some meds there's no foods huge amounts of weapons that's probably a really good deal for the saw blade but we don't need lots of food is at the quiet house you know what let's go to the quiet house uh oh wait unless you're willing to steal this might not be a job for marco as weird as that sounds we might want you to scavenge marco you're sad you know what we're not gonna get you out of the house we're gonna keep you guarding Actually, we're gonna we're gonna put you in the bed too, bud. Um, I'm really really scared to only have one guard. Pavel can guard. Pavel is tired. He really needs to sleep. You know what, Marco? You're gonna guard too. Okay, we're gonna keep you focused. So that should be good. Only ten inventory slots, but Arika, you can do it. Wait, let's make sure we're going to the right place here. The quiet house. That's correct. That's where we're going. Okay, what are you taking? There's only eight slots. Food is not necessarily the most important thing right now, but our supplies are really, really low. Um, let's go ahead and take... Yep, 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 yep. I hate to only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots left, but you know what? I think a few timber and mostly food, maybe some moonshine, we should be okay. Uh, no, I don't need these and some weapon ports would be nice, too. Okay. This is gonna be a very selective run you guys. Okay 
whenever this is over, I'm going to buy myself a house like this. <laughs> That's the right attitude to have. Okay, we're not going to grab any of this stuff that we don't need right now. We're going to be very selective. Like I said, nothing here. Okay. Let's check out this spot. Um, okay, we do need some timber. So let's go ahead and take... Let's go ahead and take some timber. And let's look inside. What do we see? I spy a couple sitting comfortably by a fire. Let's open the door and make our way downstairs. It looks like there's some good stuff down here. What's happening? Who are you? We sold everything. Oh no. Oh no. I thought I was walking quietly. Oh man. I don't know what to do here. So let's think about this for a minute. If I'm to steal anything, they're definitely going to... Are you going to kill us? No, I'm not going to kill you, man. I can't have too sad. Alright, so I'll go up top. You were with the bandits? I heard they robbed people blind. Gosh, he is making this hard for me. Um, What about... Everything is considered stealing at this location. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I can't. I hope she won't come back. All right. He's following me pretty close. So he closed that door. All right. Let's take a look. He went back to his chair. What do you want from us? So, it's like he hears everything, man. No. Please at least don't hurt my wife. She's not well. God, talk it. I cannot. All right. I'll tell you what. I mean, it's it's 12 o'clock. Yeah, I can't. Does it, it doesn't allow me to talk to him. Looking for valuables? I'm afraid we've sold everything. Oh, no. What are you doing? I'm not trying to hurt you. Help, help. No, I'm not going to hurt you, man. I'm not going to. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need a little bit of food. I just need a little bit of food. I'm not going to hurt anybody. Where'd the wife go? Private property. Well, there's food. Man. Should I take it? I guess I have to. I really guess I have to. Yep. Let's do it. I got too many people to feed. And I'll take all the sugar too. Because I do need some moonshine. And I'll be able to make that with that. Okay, let's just run to the exit. Sorry guys, I had to. Whew, that hurt my heart, y'all. <laughs> like, like for real. Whew, day 10. Alright. Let's see what our situation looks like. I found plenty of really fine stuff. What a night. Um, good. We've been raided. Oh, no. Someone came at night to take our things by force. Oh, boy. What did we lose? Eric had been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. Someone tried to rob us. They didn't seem very determined, so we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were all armed. 
Okay, so maybe we don't necessarily need guns. Well, not at this point yet. Uh, oh no, so she's sad and very tired. Okay, let's go eat. Um, what's your... You're hungry, sad, and tired. You need to eat as well. So you guys can eat, and I can actually make some more food, too. Um, what is Pavel? Pavel is only hungry, and... Hungry and tired. Alright, so we definitely need to... Alright, let's see what's going on. So you're hungry, sad, and tired. Y'all both ate. You come to bed. And sad and tired, you come to bed as well. Alright, you are only hungry, so you can come upstairs. And... What I can do right here probably is cook, because you are hungry and tired as well, but um, let's go ahead and make some more food. Let's make a few consumables. Let's make two. Oh, these are for books? No, 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 no. I don't want to burn books at all. Timber. We'll make, we'll make a couple of timber, and then I'll cook. Yep, just sit tight, brother. Sit in this chair. I know you're hungry. I'm gonna make us some grub. Alright, so we do have those vegetables. Um, we can make these. Cooked food. Yeah, let's do that. Components we need. Four. One. No, four, one. Ah, I see. So this is a much better meal deal so th having these vegetables really really help um we can actually make two of these if we want well we'll see we'll see what we can do okay you're gonna eat as soon as it's ready what is this right here all right wait you can eat too but you can eat too. And what is this? Oh, that's to sit down in the chair. Okay, fair enough. So, Pavel is good. Arika is sleeping. Marco is sad and tired. Marco, we need to worry about your sanity, bud. Uh, let's see. I'll tell you what, Marco. You come sit in this chair. And... Oh no, Arika. Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? You sad and tired. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? Um, I don't know if I did that wrong or not. Alright. So Bruno is only tired. What we can do is probably get you... What can we do here? Also, upgrading that stove. Is it? Is that a possibility? That we can upgrade the stove? Yeah, it does have an upgrade on it. So we'll check into that. Uh, this is to make bandages. Nobody's wounded right now. That's not to say that that's a bad idea, but I think we'd be better off using resources um, in another way. So let's see. We didn't get any gun parts last night. Uh, for timber, the hatchet would probably be good because we could chop furniture for timber, but it's we're not quite ready to do that. Uh, everybody's still armed, so that's not a big deal. How about the regular crafting? What can we make that would help us? That moonshine steel is probably what I need next. Um, for at least for trade and stuff. That guitar probably wouldn't be bad either, but we can't make that without the, the guitar parts. I just want something that'll um, that'll make us feel better, you know. Uh, board up that'll protect us from looters. That's pretty interesting. Um, we really need to get food on the map too, man. Food is gonna be such an issue. A trap for small animals. We don't have enough stuff to make that. What do we need for all this? Components and timber for the most part. Um, and a moonshine still. We need a couple of parts. And we need more components. I think that's going to be very, very important for our 
for our deal, but I can't make any of it right now. Um, what I can do is I could probably look at what's the hatchet. How much? How much do I need for the hatchet and the saw blade? I'm interested in that. We need one old gun port or broken weapons, and we need some more of these components. So pretty much weapon ports. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Um, you are hungry and sad. Come eat again. I should sleep off last night. You are tired. Make. Let's make a little bit more meals and then Arika can come do that and you can sleep. How about that? So we'll go ahead and we can't make that because we need two timber. Although we can make two timber just like that. I hate using all my timber but we're going to have to get that axe soon. Hopefully the next run we'll get some weapon ports. I think food, I think we're kind of okay for food right now. Okay, you are not even tired. That's good. Um, let's get you, let's get you making some cooked food. And then you can go to bed. I hope so, Arika. I hope we can return to normal lives after this. Okay, great. So you can go ahead. All right. I think everything, everybody is pretty much managed. Sad and hungry and sad. Okay, so you need to come eat one of these meals. And Marco. Poor Marco. Like, I don't know what to do for you, Marco. I really don't. I wish I could give you something that you would enjoy. How about let's sit here just for a little while while Erica does her thing. She's going to eat. And I think that's pretty much good. I got to keep my eye on tobacco too. Okay, so sad is probably it. And we're running out of daylight anyway. So it looks like it's going to be night 10 for us. And then we'll move on to more difficult stuff. So everybody's good. Let's go ahead and end the day. Okay, rolls, roll call, Marco. Marco is only sad. You're definitely still gonna go scavenge, buddy. Um, Arika is sad. She's gonna sleep. Bruno, you are going to... Hmm. We do have bandages and stuff, so I guess you're gonna guard, and Pavel, you're going to guard as well. Oh no, you need to sleep in bed. Arika, you can guard. Okay, so we got two guards. We got somebody sleeping in bed, and Marco is scavenging. Now, where to go? We got a city hospital. This is lots of food, lots of materials, lots of meds, huge amounts of parts, and caution advised. Um, you know, I do have a knife. That's probably, I probably need to start visiting something like that. Quiet house we visited already. What's the military outpost look like? Those who aim at each other during the day often trade with each other at night. These soldiers have a lot of goods that they're willing to trade, especially for alcohol or cigarettes, but be careful. You never know what to expect from them. So we can't quite go there yet because we don't have a lot of alcohol made. That moonshine still, that's going to be a nice place to go. Uh, St. Mary's Church is known for a charitable priest. Oleg, alas, the church has recently been devastated and Oleg's fate is unknown. We can expect piles of rubble, so a shovel might come in handy. A group of armed men are said to occupy the vestry building and might be dangerous okay can't get there due to fighting all right well that's not even an option anyway um sniper junction can't get there due to fighting quiet house supermarket military outpost city hospital i think city hospital oh there's a hotel too um lots of parts huge amounts of weapons that's gonna be real real caution advised hmm City hospital. Caution is advised for that too. Huge amounts of ports. Lots of ports. Possible trade. Lots of materials. Let's go to the hotel. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to... I guess we're going to carry a knife with us because there's some... Oh, that's actually picks. Well, I'll, I'll bring the picks anyway. Um, actually, you know what? No. I'll bring the crowbar and I will bring... 
let's see I will bring I don't know if I should even bring the shovel did they say trade possible in hotel yeah possible trade <clears throat> excuse me um, okay so possible trade that means we can possibly trade with some folks let's bring one of the weapons and let's bring a crowbar and as far as stuff to trade we really don't have much to trade we have coffee I uh, have herbal meds what are these fertilizers I want to keep those hmm I think that's homegrown tobacco yeah let's bring coffee with us too and I'm hoping that there'll be some trade in there and herbal meds I'm not gonna take with me all right let's do it might regret not bringing the shovel but I can't fill up too much he's okay let's see what we got <laughs> our noble and bright now a shadow of its former self like us let's see what we have All right, um, I don't know if I want to take these so much. I'll take them anyway for now. We're not going to take much of that stuff though. I know I always say that, but I should have looked first. I really should have. Okay, looks like there's somebody in here. He doesn't look armed, which is good. Let's go ahead and open the door up and check this. All right, ports. I'm not even gonna take these yet. Let's check this. Okay, definitely some of these. And what are these again? Fertilize, I'd like to take that. I definitely want the weapon ports and the regular ports because we need some of that. Okay, looking good so far. They're drinking upstairs. <laughs> Let's see for peace and freedom they all are in. All right, more ports. Um, I feel like I should grab it all just in case I have to make a hasty exit. There's a lot of people around here. I probably need to go see about what's going on up top to trade. Um, we definitely need this fertilizer we already said that we were getting those books uh, I'll take the electrical even though I might trade it back to whoever I can uh, let's see that just looks like a way out let's look outside anyway yep that looks pretty much like a way out um, doesn't seem to be anybody in here just to the right of here though okay let's check out this bookshelf right quick doesn't appear like they're alarmed, so that's good. Um, go ahead and do that. Hmm. Let's get rid of this timber and grab this tobacco. I'm kind of trying to invest in things that I know that I'll be able to use later. Um, before we go and talk to anybody else, let's see what we can get without risk. Uh, it looks like there's a pile of rubble right here. Oh, these are this is for somebody okay so oh but that dude I think wants to trade okay let's go can I get right here no uh, apparently I'll have to go down here okay so it does look like we can trade with this guy he was the one that was hollering cheers it won't budge hmm how do I get to him then? Um, okay, let's go here instead. Getting to you might help us out. It looks like there's a few people up here. Uh, let's meet the neighbors. If I have to run, I'll run. Hey, stranger, want to trade? Go to the first floor. Um, is this the first floor? Hey, I've got something you like. Okay. Yeah, let's trade. Okay. Wow, he's got some <laughs> some serious rolling papers there. Um, oh, yeah, he's got weapon ports. Moonshine, is that it? 
Wait, 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 wait. What is that? Moonshine. Yes, yes. I do need that. Um, these. That's alcohol. All right. They don't really stack either. Um, let's get some water. And I guess what, what can we give you? All the coffee. Um, what else can we give you? We can give you nothing special but not bad either. Can we give you these electrical ports? What about books? Okay. That's not enough apparently. Let's see. Rolling papers. Tobacco. Um, fertilizer? Okay, so <laughs> that's not enough for pretty much any of that. Let's grab our fertilizer again. Let's grab our cigarette papers. Okay, so books, these parts, and coffee. What about... Man. What about weapons? No. I definitely don't want to do that. Uh, let's take away some alcohol. Let's take away... I, I definitely want to keep the moonshine. Um... Let's see. Okay, so let's see what we can get away with. Let's get the water out. So these are all the important stuff, right? Um, let's go ahead and take the coffee out and add one thing at a time and try to... Okay, you've got to be kidding me. Because we already have two crowbars. So we can, we can get rid of one. Uh, we can also get rid of these. It won't do try harder. So we're getting close. Um, let's see. Can we do timber? Uh, how about books? No. Okay. We'll get the timber. We, we can give you the timber because we can always get more of that stuff. Um, the parts, I really hate to do it. I really hate to do it. He doesn't even want parts, I don't think. Uh, and he doesn't want those either. Wow. Wow. Okay, a small flask of pure alcohol, more valuable than simple moonshine. You can drink it. You can trade for it, or you can use the pro it to produce meds and bandages. Things get easier when you drink it. So, or so it seems. It's a good trading item. Okay, so you can drink this stuff. Pure alcohol is probably what we need for our buddy here. Um, okay, so he'll take that deal. If I take the crowbar away, nope, I have to give him the crowbar, which is okay. We still have a crowbar. Uh, can we take these away? Nope, we can't take those away either. What about the timber? Yep, he'll take the deal without it. All right, I think that this is a very good deal. We'll take the deal. Let's try to trade again. Okay, so now... I want some water from you. This is pure alcohol. Um, it would cost you. So he is not willing to part with this very good. You can have it for almost nothing. So we might be able to procure some water um, for a reasonable price. Let's see what it, it would cost you. So this is this had a lot of value. Okay, that's, that's what it was. Okay, so we can trade timber um, and... Man, <laughs> there's not a whole bunch we can trade, huh? I'll tell you what. Let's see how much water we can get for the amount of timber that we have. One for two. Yeah, we'll do deal. Okay, that's only one water, but hey. So we can, we can actually get the rest of timber now. Let's go up and see what we can get up here. We still have some inventory slots. Anything in here? Nope. Let's go up top again. See if we can grab anything from upstairs. There seems to be somebody drinking right there. No footsteps in here. I need something to pick this lock, to open this lock. Ah, that's what the lock picks are for. Okay, let's go up here. Now I'm interested in just filling my backpack and leaving because I got some essentials. We would need a saw blade for that. That's stealing. We don't want to do that. He's already sad. He is already sad. I'll tell you what. Let's go down here. Or I'll say down here because there was a couple things I can possibly loot. Actually, let's run. Can we do that without alerting people? Yeah. What did I do? I'm not... I didn't do anything. No, I didn't do anything. 
No! No, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything, dude. Man. I guess because I ran. That was silly of me. I got some important stuff. I just didn't get great stuff. I can't believe running. <laughs> Maybe it made me look guilty. I don't know. But that is going to wrap it up for next time. Guys, if you like the video, please leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And that is going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time. Bye.